top 15? 15 ish? To each their own. I right. think Pikachu's broke. We're starting on Town and City again. There you we go. go. Ralphie's got the AirPods in. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be winner's quarter. So the winner of this guaranteed fifth place here at Smash Adelphia with a huge uh, prize pool bonus right. uh, for singles. So At least $2,500. Yeah, someone's going to home with a good chunk of change. So let's see how this works out here. You know, Wolf isn't really a character that's super common in New England. Uh, I think the ones that come to mind, I think it's Hawk. Uh, who's, who's from Connecticut that plays uh, Wolf, but from but Massachusetts itself, I can't really think of anybody outside of Raffi, who uses Wolf primarily as a secondary, but, but I could be, be wrong. There, so. I guess there's not a lot of Pikachus that, yeah, a that lot is of true. places. That, yeah, that is true. <laughs> Definitely like, not in New York City. That's always the advantage you have as a Pikachu player. As you can see, things are kind of even at a stalemate right now. You know, uh, it's going to be a steady projectile battle for both these guys. DM gets to grab to kind of reset things on the platform. Ooh, gets the F-Smash. Not going to kill quite yet. Never. I like I like Ralphie's waits. He waits a lot. He's like, all right, I'm going to see what options you throw at, and I'm just going to wait for you to do your thing. Yeah, and he's given himself enough time to at least react to whatever DM does. He's not, like, crowding the wedge um, to maybe try to go for broke on, like, a really hard read. And goes for the up smash, Ow. but it gets countered, and then DM actually up smashes. Goes for the down smash read to take the stock. Doesn't quite get that either. You see DM immediately play retreat to just kind of throw out some thunder jokes. He's like, okay. I'm in danger. Yeah. <laughs> There we go, gets the initial starting hit. And there we go, here Ooh. comes the lightning loops coming out from Pikachu. Okay. Oh my goodness. DM, let him play. That was 61%. <laughs> let him play. Yeah, I love single player games. But nonetheless, that's like that's exactly the problem you run into in this matchup, man. Like, Pikachu is so good at, he's always been a great combo character and Wolf has always been kind of combo fodder. So that's gonna be a factor that's gonna play huge in this matchup if Ralphie um, you know, Ryan. wants to win. There we go. But Snake Jr. Until... <laughs> Snake Jr. I like that. Ralphie, a little bit of a mountain to climb, but we're gonna get the start of it. Juggling Pikachu with the up airs. Yeah, this definitely isn't uns this isn't uh, like a deficit too hard for Wolf to come back from. All he really needs is a couple of hits. But the transitioning out platforms. Not sure if that played a factor right there, or the fact that he was like right there in the top of the blast zone. But Pikachu's down smash. Uh, getting the job done right there. And here we go. Once again, these low percent combos are so dangerous. Oh my god. Ooh, goes. I like how Ralphie is trying to go for these up these up smash reads of of like, alright, definitely you're gonna you're gonna thunder jolt like here, but I think they've helped they've hurt him more than helped him. Yeah, but right there you saw that DM just going right to town on the early disadvantage and he was hitting Ralphie where it hurts. As you can see from that exchange, that F smash catching his jump right there. Uh, that will unfortunately uh, you know close things out. And just to give you guys an update, currently on Master Hand Gaming we have Juice and Ling Ling. So if that is a set that you want to see, make sure you guys multi twitch, watch both, support all of your faves. And then I believe next here we'll have Greg Gonzalez versus Blaze and Costa. Good old tri-state battle. Yeah, and I think, and in my opinion, whoever wins that set's gonna win the tournament. I think. Really? I think so. Those two are probably my favorites to win the tournament today. So. Okay. Ralphie going with Cloud. Ooh, okay. So we're gonna see an old-fashioned matchup here. And a stage like Smashville too, something very, very small. I feel like Pikachu kind of has the advantage, though. Yeah, I think like this was a matchup that wasn't bad for Pikachu in Smash 4. I don't think it's much. I think it's anything but better for him in this game, just because Cloud has kind of been uh, diluted as a character, and Pikachu has just seen nothing but improvements. As you can see, DM really quick off the gate right here. Ralphie having a hard time you know, getting back on the ground. Right, but he almost has that limit. Yep. Okay. Using it, as you know, you only have 15 seconds to use your limit before you uh, eventually lose it. These uppies out of shield, I feel like we didn't see Cloud use that too much in Smash 4. I feel like I see it a lot more now with Ultimate. Yeah, Climb Hazard, I think like there's, I don't remember the exact frames of it, but uh, you can basically just up be out of shield out of most scenarios because it comes out so fast. So it's right. a fan, you know, you have to be really careful when you touch Cloud's uh, shield now. Nair to down smash, we can see what DM's edge guard is. I mean, it's pretty easy to edge guard Cloud. Goes for the yeah, fair yeah. off stage, and that'll take stock one for DM. Yeah, DM really commanding this whole set. Yeah, I was gonna say, unfortunate for Ralphie that you know when you're cloud without your resources off stage, it just kind of makes it really hard uh, to get back. So DM, sh you know, showcasing beautifully how to edge guard clouds. Once again, Ralphie just trying to get himself back into the thick of things here. 
Oh, here comes the back air. It's pizza time. Ralphie finally getting that back air, stealing the stock. I mean, he's not down too much until... Yeah. Yeah, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't think percent's going to matter too much in this matchup just because Pikachu is so good at hitting you where it hurts. But DM, really, such a such a like good player in covering all the options. Like, you saw how he was met with so many fares and nares there. Yeah, there we go. As once again, Ralphie, good choice of the air dodge right there to get back to the ledge. But DM just, you know, putting the hurt on him right now. Ralphie finally kind of at an advantage point with all the up airs. Yeah, but... Gets another for DM to at least quick attack out of trouble right there. Once again, reset the situation. Ralphie, you know, forced to kind of think a little bit harder, uh, you know, in disadvantage. Just because Pikachu, like I said, has so many tools. The edge guard cloud and the dash attack from the middle of the stage will get things done and a huge lead for DM right now. It's just that these combos from Pikachu, they just last so long. Yeah, this character is draining the fight just because, like you saw right there, he gets touched in these early percents. You're just going to get carried. Triple fair. We'll see what the edge guard is for DM. Goes for the nair, doesn't quite get it. Good air dodge by Ralphie. Ooh, there you go. Dash attack once again. From DM just covering all facets of the game right now. You see Ralphie just Ooh, Oh my okay. god. That's not gonna quite take it, but he needs to use his limit to make it back. Goes for the smash again. DM really just all over him. Yeah, I think at this point, Ralphie's already like mentally moved on to game three. He understands that this isn't, this isn't gonna work out for him. Tries to beat him there with the fair, doesn't get it. Dash attack. This dash attack. Pikachu's dash attack. Yeah, that is a, a killing blow. I think that usually starts killing around like 160, 170 on most characters, as you saw right there. And you know, DM just on Ralphie, like, you know, it was like a really warm blanket. And I think something that actually really helped him out right there is that um, one of the changes that Pikachu saw in this game is that dash attack always sends right in front of you, or that down smash sends right in front of you. So in the past, you get hit by the back end of down smash, you'd go backwards. But every time DM up for down smash, it doesn't even matter. It just sends you, sends you out, got a couple of kills out of it, and you know he's looking prime to move on to the top eight, or he'll he'd either have to fight uh, Lingling or Juice, depending on who comes out on top on that end. So switching back to the Wolf and going to Pokemon Stadium too. We'll see if this stage can help him out. But uh, yeah, right now pizza we're on time. On the Nair plane. Yeah, it's, 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 technically that's the Bear plane. So really, <laughs> once again, a phenomenal start here from DM, and that's kind of always the. the the thing that's hurt Ralphie is that DM just gets off such a strong lead, and then he's just not able to, he, he just puts it away. He's not able to, you know, garner a comeback. And Lightning Bolt really just snuffing a lot of Ralphie's approaches. He's going for the, a lot of those fares, and it's just kind of getting met. Goes for the fair off stage, doesn't quite get it. Yeah, good falling fair one against for Ralphie, though. Like, once he's able to get the initial hits, it's definitely doable for him. Right. Like, he's in the lead now for the first time in this set. Cool, but gets the F smash read, and he's definitely in the lead for the first time in this set. Talk to the hand, because the face ain't listening. Ooh, nice down smash off the ledge that'll send him off. Wow, going for broke right there at that back air. But Pikachu able to get back one of the best recoveries in the game, obviously. So. Goes for the grab, whips it. And I, feel, I just feel like DM is using so much of Pikachu's kit very well. I agree. Like, it's very clear. Like, Pikachu was another one of those characters It's kind of hard to pick up just because of the, uh, like, there's a little bit of a skill ceiling, but DM also made Pikachu in Smash 4, so no surprise to see him doing so well here. Ralphie. Going to get hit by the lightning. Oh! Listen, take it. Take it. I yeah. take it. We'll take it, but Ralphie. Ooh, the taunt. <laughs> Great stuff there from Ralphie. As he's, uh, you know, has two stocks with zero percent on him, so definitely very much doable for him to, uh, you know, to get himself on the board here. See right, and Ralphie just kind of waiting it out. He realizes, hey, you know what? I only have to take one. You have to take two. Yeah, pretty much. It looks like DM has kind of like abandoned the uh, the jump neutral, the, the jump uh, neutral B approach, but that backer is going to connect, almost killing right there. Goes for the F smash a little early. Oh, here we go. DM trying to get something going. Ralphie almost nicking him with the far smash right there once again. Ralphie gets on the board with a two stock of DM. I really liked that foot stool. I mean, it cost Ralphie a stock, but at what cost? I mean, he was sitting pretty at two stocks coming into that last game, and he takes game 
game three. Yeah, that footstool definitely just kind of yeah, took the wind out of the sail uh, for DM right there, mounting that comeback. So there will be a 3 0 and a handshake. Ralphie getting on the board right here. And I think one of the best things about Ralphie, that kind of, this is what I talked about yesterday, what kind of separates the good players from the okay players. Great players are so composed under pressure. Right. They're really good at knowing to say, okay, you know, I still have a couple games to work with you. Let me just take a one step at a time, take it at a slower pace, and, you know, if I'm the better player, this person's going to run out of steam eventually. So we'll see if that stays true uh, for Ralphie here or if DM will punch his ticket to top eight. I do like the town and city pick. A lot of the times we've seen stocks from DM come from the sides of the stage, and his edge guarding is really good. So small sides makes sense. We're going to get these lightning loops on the way. Yeah, so Ralphie out to the percent lead right here, but DM again playing chase. This town and city was a stage that, uh, did, you know, did him a lot of favors in the first game. Those high platforms are going to be crucial with him being able to extend those combos. Got the up from DM and the lightning shock. Take it. Yeah, the cloud uh, spike from Thunder setting up into that kill right there. So DM, you know, getting first blood here in game four. Let's see what the answer is from Ralphie. Once again, those low percent strings from Pikachu. Is Ralphie, it looks like he's getting in the right DI pattern to be able to get out of those. Ralphie basically getting the little tip of the nair into the down smash into the read. I loved it. Yep. Ralphie fighting back now. Yeah, great. Yeah, and that's down smash's, I think, first appearance uh, of the set so far. One of uh, Wolf's strongest killing options. So, yeah, that's, that's showing that Ralphie's kind of catching up to things right now. You know, he's... Not letting the lead snowball away from him, and that's huge. The DM putting on the paint right now. Ooh, Ooh yep. reads the roll. Yeah, and that's going to be big damage coming out for DM, and Rafi, without resources, forced to up be parallel to the stage. And that's going to be stock, I believe. There we go. So Rafi was the one up two stocks and no percent in the last game. Now the tables have turned on him. So he's okay. fighting for his winner's life right here. But he's fighting for it, sure. He's getting these combos right now. He needs these. But the spot dodge by DM will put him at advantage now for all of these lightning moves. Okay, good mix up with the back air right there. That was so nice from DM to extend the combo. There you go. DM just continued to put the hurt on. Has lapped Ralphie percent. This duel on the platform has not proved to be successful for Ralphie in the past, but he's going to continue to fight right now. Ooh, gets the whiff hit of the up smash. Yeah, Ralphie's really good at knowing, uh, you know, when you're going to cross him up and just to kind of buffer that up smash, because that is a, it's, it's basically been as dimensional cave of legs. Thunder oh. will take it, and that'll be a 3-1 for DM. And that was smart. You saw that Ralphie was anticipating the thunder, yeah. but uh, I think by him stalling himself out right there, he just left him a, a sitting duck to get hit by it. Right. So. So we are going to have the great Gonzalez step up to play. That was actually a really good set. I really yeah. enjoyed watching it. So you see DM. it right there as DM punches the ticket in the top eight with a 3-1 over House of 3000's Ralphie. And one of the last winners uh, qualifiers we have here is going to be uh, 